I, I've said this before, and, and I'm not the only one. I really wish that they would give us a a different camera option for building in this game. Because it can be really difficult sometimes to see what the hell you're trying to do here. When your character's in the way, you know? You know, and especially when you got this... <laughs> when you got this wide-brimmed hat on. Um, ah, space unequipped. There, that'll help a little bit. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG. And in this episode, we're going to start off by doing a, a little bit of work uh, on our new place here and then go out and do some adventuring. Uh, so as you can see, I have moved my operation uh, to Harvest Homestead here. Um, I haven't done almost, I've done almost nothing with the house except for I did put these, little, these stairs down in here and started clearing some of this rubble. Uh, my first and most important task is to get our warehouse ready uh, for our storage. So I started a little bit of work on that. Uh, this was all broken down here, so I cleared some of that out. And we have to repair that roof there, get rid of this thing in the middle of the floor, and then and then um, I also want to replace these, you know, uh, dirt grass blocks uh, out here with something a little cleaner, and then then we can start using this as the warehouse. Uh, so in the meantime, I just have, you know, stuff sitting over here uh, along the porch of the house. Uh, all the craftspeople are inside the house here. I got these four yahoos in here, and then Emily's in the kitchen. But again, I haven't done anything um, at all with, with, with the house yet, but we will. You know, we'll work on it, like I said, just a little bit at a time. Also made the... the uh, the cooking uh, pot campfire thingamadoodle too and I have some uh, stuff in there cooking including some wild game in fact let's take four of those and top us off there looks like we need to actually I'm not so uh, I don't know if I want to cook this I think we we might want to keep that stuff raw for future episode or episodes <laughs> well yeah that too uh, future recipes so <laughs> Uh, let's see. I went down into the shroud, uh, just by the house here and, uh, got some shroud wood and some, some shroud, uh, uh, juice liquid. Yeah. Shroud liquid. Um, and then each one of these has some plants in it, um, that I started some seedlings and, uh, let's, wow, we got 15 out of that. Dang. Okay. Um, so let's actually plant these. What do you what do you mean not enough free space? Huh? What's that mean? Uh I don't know why it won't let me plant this here. That's weird. Alright, what about this? Not enough free space. Are these like not actual functional planters because they respawn? Maybe that's what's going on here. Oh, that sucks. I mean, we can make our own, but I think that's probably what the deal is. Okay, well, I'm, I'm using this little patch down here, as you can see. So we can... Uh, just plant everything over here for now. I mean, I'm planning on utilizing all those fields and having a really massive farm here at some point. But, uh, okay, let me, uh, I got, let's just, okay, so we got some chamomile in there and I think I had strawberries going in here. Yeah, okay. Well, and you know, these won't, these will never respawn now because we've got the flame altar down. So that's kind of a bummer, but I mean, like I said, we can remake, remake those. Uh, either that or just remove them all together and put a, a normal garden on the ground. I The planters are kind of cool, though. Um, so 
Maybe we'll do something with that at some point. I'm not doing a super bang up job here trying to keep the row straight, but that's okay. It'll work for now. Also, we have this, um, this elixir well just right over the cliff. And the enemies there are actually very low level. They're like only level three. So we should scooch in there and just grab the, the root. Also, um, I did, you know, when I was out and about just doing gathering resources, I uh, leveled again. And so I was able to put points into Radiant Aura. Um, and I'm going to also take Sun Aura, which is just Radiant Aura again stacked uh, once we get two more points. Uh, all right, so let's just, uh, like I said, spend the first part of this episode working on the base a little bit, and then we'll go out and do some adventuring. So the uh, so let's take care of this corner here first. I don't have, um, I don't remember off the top of my noggin what this block is, this stone block here, but I don't have it anyway. What I do have is the castle block, which is also you know, kind of a, has a dirty look to it, uh, like an outside dirty look to it, but it's, it's a little cleaner, uh, than, you know, what's there. Um, the other option is, I mean, we have rough stone block too, but that's probably not going to look right. And we want some shroud wood blocks for the walls because that's what the building itself is made out of. And, um, why don't we make, hey, what? Oh yeah. These guys have been wanting to talk to me. Let's see what they have to say. Watch out. A strange letter. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. blazing rock. Okay. So this is, um, in the Highlands, the blazing rock place. Okay. So that adds a quest. What do you want? Got to get masonry tools. Yep. We can get those in the Pillars of Creation on the way to the Highlands. <coughs> so we'll have to get those fairly soon. And these two don't have anything to say to me right now, and neither does Emily. Okay. Now, let's go here. And I want to make some refined wood blocks. So we just need wood planks and wood logs for that. These are all the medium chests here. Uh, wood logs and all the planks should be sitting in here. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, oh, shit. That's all I can do. What am I short? More wood planks. It's going to be fun um, fixing this place up. It's something I, I, I mentioned to you guys that I had wanted to possibly even do in season one but you know just never it didn't work out to do it in season one so all right so let's see here um we want to did i grab the building hammer i didn't okay we need the building hammer let's get that Um, okay. We'll go into... Damn it! Stop it! <laughs> I gotta select the hammer first. Uh, alright, let's... I, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like this, but let's look at it anyway. If we filled this in with... Um, this stone. I mean, it's certainly cleaner than the other stuff. But, yeah, okay. I think this is going to be our best bet. It's, uh, oh, we need to make more of it. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we need? This is, this is, what is this? City wall block. So we need stone and dirt for that. Oh, you know what, too? There is a... 
Where is that at? There's a place right here, a rumble in the catacombs, which will give us a new block. We should go check that out too. Yeah. Well, okay. We'll do that. We will do that. Because, you know, I, I, whatever I use there, I can always replace with something later if I find something I like better anyway. So it's not like we're permanently stuck with it. All right. We need dirt and stone. A couple more stacks of that. Okay. So as you can see, you know, that looks... It's a lot cleaner looking, at least on the surface, than this stuff is. So, I think we could we could just do this. Oh. All right, you know what? I, you know what, though? Why don't we just replace this all the way around? It's not letting me insert that there. What if I... Well, that's weird. Okay, what if I did this? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit weird working with existing um, structures in the game. I never really did that in the in season one because I built everything from scratch. Um, but I just I'd like this cleaner look a lot better. <clears throat> I mean, it still looks dirt, but it's OK for an exterior block. I'm, I'm OK with that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind keeping the ivy along the sign I think that's fine but I don't like it on top and I don't like the grass on the top so that's the thing with that all right so let's um I wish I could just insert this right there but it won't let me do it like that so what I have to do is uh oh we're gonna make more yeah I'm actually probably gonna have to yeah, get rid of that. Make a lot more of that. Okay, let's try that much. If we're going to line this whole thing, you know, with this. Okay, so... Go back to here. Now, so, so it won't let me put it in there directly. Right? But if I hold it out and then remove it, then it creates that gap there. And then I can insert the whole thing, remove it, and insert it again to get rid of the whole thing. That is much, much faster and cleaner than trying to pick all that stuff out of there, you know, with my pick. So I don't know if that's the best way to do that or not, but it's, it's the way that seems that I've been able to find that works so seems to work okay if you guys know of a better way of doing this you know i'm all ears okay so remove that oh that kind of screwed up the ground didn't it uh, all right no i mean i could fix the ground but that might be more trouble than it's worth so why don't we instead why don't we go with a a floor piece. Did that mess up? Oh, shit. Yeah, that did too. Hmm. Yeah, get back to there. Okay, so let's go to two meter blocks then. Can I put that there? And then remove it? just not uh my little strategy i was using there doesn't seem to be working as well as i'd like it what if we 
Okay. Uh. Oh yeah, but see now we're back to the screwed up ground again. Hmm. We might, we might have to, what if I did this? Can I just, all right, so it does seem to let me take it out block by block. I don't know what the hell the Ivy's thinks it's doing though. <laughs> like that it's like trying to persist it's like no don't kill me all right so we carve that whole little section out if we go to uh, okay now uh, what if we replace it with there we go okay that works. It's a lot more work doing it this way than using a whole foundation block, but if that's what we got to do, you know. But it also keeps us from screwing up the ground in the process. Okay. Um, all right. Well, and, and actually, you know, now, now that I kind of figured out this is the way to do it, what I should be doing is removing and replacing as I go like this. Yeah. get in here I don't mind if a little bit of this ivy stays here it's it's not 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 too bad it, it does kind of look nice oh we gotta get a block in here whoops there okay <clears throat> so I think that did a pretty good job of repairing stuff down here. I don't mind, again, a little bit of ivy there. I, I don't like it on the stairs, though, so we're probably going to have to take it off of there. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around and hmm. I think I'm going to leave this the way it is for now. I mean, obviously these blocks are a little bit different, but they're not so drastically different that they're an eyesore. <laughs> what if we did this, though? Um, well, this this does look like crap, doesn't it? Let's try... This is a little bit larger. What if we go back to two meter blocks? Yeah. This is better. Okay. Uh, uh. Right. And then I can scooch that in there. Yeah, it's just it's it's a little harder to to do it this way just because of the Here, let's turn snappy oh there we go okay that's better right now if we put that there and then remove it hmm 
Um, no, undo that. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to do these tight spots with this, with a just one by one block. It's a little more work, but it's easier to to make everything work the way you want. Um. Yeah, unless unless we did something like this. Okay, so that removed those, and then we can replace them with the actual blocks there. But even even doing that, well, see that kind of screwed up the wood there for the for the loading dock. Well, I mean that's not terrible, I guess. Here. Yeah, I I still don't like that. I want to I want to try and preserve that loading dock. So I, I think for this kind of, you know, smaller, these smaller areas, we're just going to have to manually. Uh, hold on. That's not lining up right. Ivy doesn't completely disappear until you get rid of the the entire part of the block that the ivy is a part of, if that makes sense. Yeah. There might be a better way to do this. I don't know. And again, feel free to let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions. But it seems to me like this is, this is what's working, even though it's a little bit tedious because we have to do it one individual's block at a time. All right, well, I'm going to work on finishing this floor and we're getting all these blocks replaced with the city block, city wall block. And I think though that should work fine for our, our warehouse. Uh, why is that tuft of grass still there? I don't know. Did I miss something here? Yeah, I did. This is still the old block. That's why. Uh, yeah, so let me get this finished, and then we'll replace the wood floor. And then I think we'll be finished for today for, for, with building. We'll go do some adventuring. Whoops. All right, guys, I just discovered something. This number four block here on the two-by-twos does seem to let me delete existing blocks uh, four at a time uh, which is certainly helpful you don't need to delete those so yeah that's a that's actually quite helpful doing it that way all right now we should be able to just use this to fill this in four at a time uh, Oh, nope. I really, I, I've said this before, and, and I'm not the only one. I really wish that they would give us a a different camera option for building in this game. Looks like you're just going to go in there. Because it can be really difficult sometimes to see what the hell you're trying to do here. When your character's in the way, you know. We have to go back to the small block to fill those pieces in. 
You know, and especially when you got this, <laughs> when you got this wide brimmed hat on, um, ah, space unequipped. There, that'll help a little bit. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, put that in there. Okay, so I think we got uh, everything replaced there. Um, I guess we should probably go along and get everything replaced out on the outside here too. Oh yeah, that works a lot better. did that corner except for uh well here again i don't mind if there's a little bit of ivy in there okay put that in there we're gonna need to no that's right yeah that's right Okay. I thought mate whoops, uh maybe we needed to come out another block there, but I think we're good. Huh. Alright, the rest of this I'm gonna have to do with the single blocks. That looks pretty good. We can keep those steps there. I don't think that's a an eyesore. Um, I would I would like to remove though the moss off of here. So those steps are fine, but we need to not too worried about it over on this side. So let's go back to this. And get right there. Uh, there we go. to get that center piece with the individual blocks. Yeah, this is this is interesting. Um It's interesting to me because I uh like I said this is the first time I've really worked with ex you know existing blocks. So it's kind of, it's a little bit different uh, situation. I screwed something up there. All right, let's just go to individuals to fill this part in. 
Um, yeah, you know, if, if we had a first-person view... I mean, it would be kind of cool to have a first-person view in general, but at least for building, that would make this a lot easier to do. But I think that, you know, when some developers make games, they get it in their mind that, hey, this is going to be a third-person game and end of discussion, and we're going to... We're going to make it work as a third person game. And you know, I mean that's fine if that's if that's the vision, but it just does make these kinds of tasks a little bit more difficult. Uh, I think Yeah, that needed to be replaced there. I actually really like this city wall block for exterior, you know, the exterior look. I think it looks good. Uh, all right, let's go back to you and do that. That. No, that will have to do with individuals. Looking better. Now, can I just do this? Oh, something didn't go in, right? There we go. There, and then there. Nope, did it again. Must be hollow under there. One thing I, you know, and I've said this before, that's just amazing about doing this is the undo option. Um, it just really works well. It's just a matter of getting the, the block back in there in the right spot. There we go. And there. Oh, that looks so much better, man. <laughs> than all that ivy stuff. Okay, what are we going to do about this crap? Um, I think we need to go... Uh, dirt. Yeah, dirt. And then... So can we... Just kind of cut the rubble out of here. Kind of weird how it's doing that. Um, okay, and then if we... Take this cube and how do I? This is oh, this is like a a dirt path block, isn't it? That we have to dig up. I forgot about that. Okay, we need to do it away from our um, our uh, altar, so it doesn't become permanent. 
So let's go over this way, outside of the border. Yeah, because that's that's a different type of of block. Now well, that's that's not the dirt though. That's the stone. We got to find the dirt. Here's the dirt. So we can we can dig stuff up here because we don't have this within our altar yet. So it'll it'll re it'll fix itself the next time I log out. Yeah, dirt roadblock. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. I'm going to mine up a bunch of this. So yeah, I've spent um, a little bit more time on this than I had planned, but part of it is just because I'm learning how to work with existing structures, right? <clears throat> um, but, you know, once I kind of get the hang of how all this works with the existing structures, you know, then the building will go a little faster. Plus, you know, some of this early stuff, I know a lot of you guys like to watch... Um, the process of, you know, YouTubers figuring things out, um, you know, so I'm showing some of that the first time around, but one, you know, once that is figured out, then a lot of that, that sort of thing I'll do off camera. Okay, let's go back and see if this is enough to do the trick. We might need to use the rake to do some leveling as well. I am planning on digging all of the mud out of here and replacing it with the blue, uh, the blue blocks uh, in the in the ditch, not back here. I don't know. We'll we'll figure something else out down here at some point, maybe. Maybe we'll leave it the way it is. I don't know. Uh, that is looking so much better, though, I have to say. I'm pretty pleased with how it's coming out. Um, let's, In case we need it, let's grab the rake. Okay. So um, let's kind of cut some of this away here. I think that block will will heal itself. Uh, all right, let's go back to our building hammer. And um, uh, wait, no, don't do that. Go back to here. To there. And we'll just fill that little spot in. Okay, and then we want to go to dirt road block. And probably down to the terrain. That's as big as it gets, right? Oh, no, it gets that big. Nobody be doing that's what she said jokes. This is a PG-13 channel. Yeah, look at that. We can just fill the rest of the... Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. I like it. All right, now here we have these, um, these ramp blocks. Uh, steep ramp. No. This ramp.
Uh, there's no, there's no snap option for this stuff. Let's go back to here and back to there. I don't mind this little bit down here. I think that's fine. Okay, um, back to the ramp uh, and the terrain. Now, can we... We can't... Oh, no, we need... That, okay. I mean, I think that's workable. It's smooth enough to where, you know, it's like a little path walking down there. Well, one thing we might be able to do, though, is what's the angle of that? That didn't really do anything. What if we took that away, went back to you, and... I'm just thinking, like, a little dirt path, you know, that runs all the way up there. Cut that back down a little bit. Okay, now, let's go back to here. And we're on dirt block. Okay, so if we just kind of... I'm having trouble seeing because of the, sh uh, the shade. Well, that didn't help a whole lot. Right. And then if, what does this do? That's just kind of rough terrain, right? Sort of kind of fill it in a little bit here. Do something more like that. Yeah, that actually works pretty good because it it lets you smooth it down a bit damn the just the lighting right right at this moment is making this really hard to see oh there we go okay Now, the next question is, this is the, this is the general idea that I wanted, a little dirt path running down there. Is there any way to smooth this out, but keep it, you know, keep the, keep a nice angle to it? I think the rake disc flat. Oh. Ooh, okay, what if we... See, that's going to be really steep, though. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. It's kind of the same angle we've been working with, though. 
All right, what if we did this? What if we came there and then... That and then came down there. It's the... The problem with that is the angle is a little too steep. Unless I can... Yeah, we're out of dirt block. Okay. I think I'm going to undo all of that. What we could do, though, is... That helps smooth it out a little bit. Let's just try the rake, but I think the rake's going to try and stair-step it. Maybe. I might be wrong about that. Yeah, see, the rake is really screwing that up. Um, it, it kind of... Yeah, see, it wants to stair-step it. Now, I mean, that's another possibility, is to stair-step it. But we could... Put that back in there. And then go to there. Okay, yeah, undo that. All right, well, I mean, it's it's workable as is. I just don't know how to smooth it out but keep the angle. That's the part that's a little um, confusing to me right now. No, I don't do that. Oh, oh, I'm out of I'm out of road dirt. Okay. I think you know, given enough time, though, I could probably get this pretty nice and smooth. I just gotta gotta tweak it a little more. My thought is that you know. You put the ramp in, bury, maybe bury it a little bit, and then use this like the disc piece or even this, just this little piece here, to kind of smooth it out. Because I, I was starting to, I was starting to get that to work. So I'll probably mess with it some more, and you know, see if I can tweak it. And then again, if you guys have uh, any suggestions on that stuff, let me know. Okay, yeah, this is a. This has turned out to be a full-blown building episode. <laughs> Wasn't my intention, but is what it is. Let's let's finish this floor in here, and we also need to fix that roof. All right, so we'll go back to uh, blocks, and let's get to four meter blocks, and let's go to refined wood, and we can just pop that in just like that. And I think we're on floors. Yeah, okay. We should be able to just right-click. Oh. No, that's right, because this it's not going to let us remove what's there. Um. All right. That means then we got to go back to here, the change category. And... Uh, oh, this is a terrain. This is okay. What if I actually okay? Hold on. What if I used foundations? Go back to here. Go back to here. Okay, if I put a full blown foundation in here like this, and then remove it. Aha. That's the way to do that. Okay. Yeah, 
get it more over there. Uh, right in that corner there. And then just this little section here. Good. Okay. Now we should be able to come along and... Oh, uh, looks like I went too far on that end, but that's all right. Just put these in. Except for, let's not make them foundations. Let's make them floors, because they don't need to be foundations. Just uses more material than necessary. Uh, I carved that one out too far, a little bit too far too, but that's okay. I can fix that. Okay. And then we should be able to just do this and it'll only actually use the wood that it's filling in. Oh, did I just run out of wood? I think I did. <laughs> okay. Let's go make a few more of those. This is refined woodlock. We need some more planks. That should be enough to finish that out. Then we just need to go back to here and to here. Voila! Look at that. Nice and clean here in our in our warehouse. A little bit of ivy, like I said, is fine. Uh, oh, we got to fix this this thing too. Right? Okay. Um, go to Alt. Go to roof pieces. Um, go to here. Rotate. I need to I need to get up here so I can kind of see a little bit better. Okay, get rid of that for a second. Um, I might. Okay, if we do this. doesn't get rid of the, the crap, though. All right, we might have to... Hmm. I mean, that, that repairs the roof, but it still leaves... Kind of this raggedy looking crap here. So why do oh damn it. I'm out of I'm out of orbs. What do we need to make those? Wisp of light, bug dust, glow dust, and resin. See you soon. See you soon. Uh let's see, where am I gonna have that stuff? Low dust, bug dust, and resin. And we're out of space. Damn it, Jim. All right, hold on. 
Put these back in there for now. Put these building blocks back in here. Put the dirt, logs, stone in there. That, that's my full stacks chest. Put the spark in there. Okay. Now grab the resin. Um, I suppose we could just sleep too. But it's still going to be dark inside the, the, the warehouse for a bit. have to make some more bug dust. Okay, back to this. What I'm... What I think we might need to... Oh, see, that wall's kind of screwed up, too. What we're probably going to have to do is... Go into block mode. Like that. And... Just delete this stuff. Let's go to the bigger block, actually. I think the edge of this roof will be fine. Looks okay as well. No, I think there's still just one little messed up piece there. That's all raggedy looking too. Okay, now if we go back to roof pieces. And we just slide this guy right in. Uh, maybe, maybe we can do it from down here instead. I need to build some scaffolding here. Oh, Got to be up a little higher. Yeah, this is just a really difficult spot to work in because of where I need to stand to get the right angle. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's the right angle. It's just too far out. Uh, nope, still not quite right. What about there? Still sticking out too far. Okay, what about there? Okay, let's get <clears throat> up here. Yeah, we got that right. Um, we just need to fill in. Yeah. Okay. 
to get rid of that. Is that a one of these pieces here? <laughs> this is frustrating. I can't get it down in deep enough to... Okay, you know what? We're not going to worry about it. That's, that's good enough. I don't know how to fix that. I would have to have a very tiny angled piece. Uh, this? Maybe? Oh! That is what we need. Huzzah! <laughs> they thought of everything. <laughs> All right, neat. Nifty. Now we just need to fix this wall, and we're in business with our warehouse. We'll just have to get everything moved in here, but of course that will definitely be an off-camera thing. Uh, okay, so let's go down to 2 meter. And we need, actually need to get some shroud wood. Uh, shroud wood block, there we go. Yeah, I mean, th th again, this is my first time working with existing structures, and I'm learning, but I'll get a lot faster at this as, you know, as we figure things out. Okay, so I think what I want to do, that wall is flush with this one, and it only goes up right to the edge of the roof piece. All right, so let's get this. Let's flip it this way. And I think we want it to go up one more. Is that? No, that's, um, <clears throat> that's one block too high. All right, so can we go down one? That looks correct. Okay. Then uh, we should be able to just flip this around here and embed that into there and put that into there. And do we have something weird? Ah, we do have something weird going on in the corner. All right. We should be able to just do this. Perfect. I think we're done, guys. It's looking pretty good in here. Nice and cleaned up. The little tiny bit of ivy here and there is still fine. It gives the building some character, but it's not like overgrown. You know, like it was before. Especially the stairs here. The way the stairs was. Uh, I'll go farm up some more dirt roadblock and keep messing with this. I think I can make it a little better than this, but it is functional. And um, that we could probably smooth out with the rake. Yeah. It's just that the rake... Uh, the rake likes things level, and it doesn't work super well. Yeah, see, I screwed that up. It doesn't work super well on angles. Uh, you know, you know what would be nice is if we had like an angle. <gasps> we do. We do have an angle. I just saw that in the lower right hand corner. So, oh, look at this. How do I get it? Oh, wow. Okay. That's too, too intense. Um, Oh, 
All right, let's let's chill this out a bit. So let's see, R wheel, go back down like. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. It looks like maybe it only works on 22 degree angles or something. That's still that's still pretty damn good though. I mean that it can do that. I don't like that it's messing up with my dirt road. Yeah, undo that. Okay, change this back to here. So, yeah, it doesn't give us real fine-tuning on the angle, but it's it's something. It still kind of has a, you know, like the stair step feel to it. Can we bump that smooth that down just a little bit? Yeah, see now it's making it. Okay, here. Let's go back. Whoop. Let's go back to this angle. No. All right, well, I really kind of screwed that up now, didn't I? I might have to use the train blocks to shave that back down. The other thing we could do with that is could actually put some stairs in there, but that's kind of not the point. The point is I want to learn how to create uh, you know, angled <clears throat> pathways in the game. If I filled this back in here just a little bit with the terrain blocks, um, so with these, like, angled shapes here, I could probably make that a little less intense. So I'm sure you can get it pretty damn good if you just work with it for a bit but we're gonna call this pretty good for today's first attempt at remodeling existing structures <laughs> uh, we got a, a lone block down here and uh, yeah so I, I learned a few things and like how things are coming together here let's get rid of that uh, all right guys so next episode the plan will be to go out and do some adventuring and um uh, what are we gonna do? We're going to we're gonna go knock out that elixir well. It'll be super uh, lemon squeezy because those are very low level mobs down there, and we'll get the the root and more importantly the point. And then, as far as quests go, um, you know, maybe it's time for us to go ahead and hit Hall of Halls. Uh, we are actually level eleven now, I think. Uh, oh no, we're level twelve. Yeah, I don't want to get too too far above the level. Because, you know, then the challenge won't be there. So, yeah, I think next episode we'll go hit the elixir well. And then we will we'll go do the hollow halls. Let's do it. Looking forward to it. Plus, we get the extra in the collector NPC. Uh, we'll have to figure out where he's going to go. <laughs> uh, we'll put him up in the cursed wizard's tower with Balthazar. Because they're, they're two birds of a feather. Maybe. I don't know. I, I'm not even exactly sure what the collector even is. He's some kind of mysterious, magical guy. Um, necromancer type of flavor to him. And uh, yeah, so we'll go from there. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. I gotta put my hat back on. There we go. Everything's right with the world now. <laughs>